I don't use the whole breaking, breaking news very often in my headlines, my, my titles of videos. But there's just some, again, there's just some things here going on that is erasing, you know, is raising my alarm bells. I've already presented one of the big smoking guns to me. You know, me and JC are talking about the Supreme Court case and, you know, these jabroni brothers, you know, average citizens brought a case to the Supreme Court that could throw out Congress, most of Congress. It's, it's 380 something members now total the guys i'm about to give you a link to a video uh nino's corner i think he calls himself now uh where he's interviewing one of the brothers that filed the case who gives some updates on how it went what how, you know some opinions on how the supreme court even took the case how and why and that sort of thing they've got uh the other guy juan osevin and then this other guy called ghost that are all talking about this and when I did that video a few days ago, it was like after I did that video, these other guys started running big time with it online. Not because of me. It's just interesting timing, in my opinion, and how my video got seriously boosted by the Patriot community out of nowhere. Hmm. And I mean, that my video is now 13, 15, 17,000 views. This thing was like, when I looked last, it was our 70, 80,000, 79,000 or something. Um, I'll just, just out of curiosity, I'm going to look real quick. Uh, content. And I'm going to put this link's going to be here for you to watch. Um, 113,000 views currently. So. In this video, Wano Savin, 1127-22, video B, um, is the one that we're watching. And I would tell you to watch the first uh, 25 minutes. It's an hour-long video or so. I would advise you to watch, you know, your time crunch, watch the first 25 minutes You'll get everything you need to know right there. But the timing of this the whole thing is impeccable and incredible. The Supreme Court could have thrown it out right away. They go on to talk about how the normal lawyer or lawyers who would represent the Congress as defendants somehow was went away stepped down went away something happened and a court um appointed or like there's a certain you know not a public defender but there's like a court and they talk about it they, they use the proper terminology is now taking it it just it's just uh, it's uh, unbelievable the string of coincidences in favor of of the people and yes when they when they failed to respond by the 23rd as you'll hear in the video that was all the roadblocks bo possible went out the window there's no more roadblocks possible that would have been another one there's a part in here you're going to hear first 25 minutes where they uh and again I'm not you know Section 11 or something, Rule 11, I forget what it, what it is, you'll hear it. In the Supreme Court, that states you can bypass, for example, the Tenth Circuit Court, which is kind of the final one before you can go to the Supreme Court, because you have to go through all the lower courts and some federal courts and all this, and they've been stonewalling this guy and his brothers. And they said, you know, let's see if there's some kind of rule or something that can bypass this last court, since we've went through all the other ones. And they find, again, in Section 11 or something 11, Rule 11, in, if it's deemed a national emergency, you'll state it in your complaint and say, Supreme Court, we need to bypass them because this is a national emergency and here's why. Please take the case. They took the case. And he said, you know, there's a law, there was a former law clerk who now handles or, or uh, 
lawyer, maybe not a law clerk, that now handles the go between between a person filing with the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court justices themselves. So that person, which again, they talk about this in the first 25 minutes, was actually telling them, you know, how, you need to fix this and fix that, then re resubmit it. Okay, we'll do. And then a final thing, oh, the Tenth Circuit responded. Now we can actually legitimately move to the Supreme Court without the emergency ruling thing. So do we do that anyways? Do we just leave it the way it was? We don't know. The guy tells them. The Supreme Court tells them. Oh yeah, just take that off now. If they've, if they've replied, now you can just do it without the emergency declaration. And, you know, submit it. And how long do you think it's going to take you to get that to us? The Supreme Court guy is asking. Uh, probably in the next two weeks. Do you think you could get that to us a little bit faster? Can you get it to us faster than that? Well, yeah, okay, yeah, we'll get on it. The guy at the Supreme Court, I repeat... Can you get it to us a little faster than two weeks? Yes, I will. We'll get on that right away. Do you understand what's happening right now? And when you hear Juan Osaven and you know them, those guys talk, you're going to realize this was the only way. It's the safe way. It's the non-revolution way. The powers in the Supreme Court, when, like I've been saying, with Mike Lindell and his shit-eating grin for the last two years, talking about the 2020 election, there'll be a 9-0 nine, nine ruling, take it to the bank. Okay, well, now we're in the midterms. He's saying the same damn thing about the midterms in the 2020. There'll be a 9-0 nine, nine ruling, I'm telling you. And he's got that smile and he's happy and he's just excited. When most people would be pissed off, I'm angry. Why didn't they do it on the 2020? I'm not going to come out here and try to save face. You know, I probably should try to save face. And instead, I'm going to double down and talk about the 2022 midterms as well and lump that in with the 2020 election and tell you that the Supreme Court is going to rule 9-0. to zero. The most ridiculous, stupid thing for somebody to do, he's doing it. Gosh, I wonder if Mike Lindell knows something. Nine to zero ruling. As I explained in my last video about this, why would they vote nine? Why wouldn't the liberal justices go, F you, we rule how we want to rule. We don't. It doesn't matter, rule of law, nothing. We're going to rule how we rule for our people, and our people are those liberal Democrats on the left, and we're going to vote no. Mike Lindell swears it's going to be 9-0, to zero, yes. So, as I've explained, and again, this you don't have to listen to me talk. You can go watch that video right now. You can stop this video and start watching. I've, I've been up to 26 minutes myself, and it's an hour long, and I go, there's already enough gold right here right now. It's already been summarized. I don't know what else these guys are even going to say, but it doesn't matter. It's all right here. I'm going to go do my video right now to let people know you need to watch this right away. Nine to zero ruling. The liberal justices, if they rule that way, all of the liberal Democrats in the country who think in are absolutely certain those are my people <laughs> and they vote the way we like it whether it's rule of law or not we don't care we just care that they vote our way like most democrats we don't care about rules and fairness uh, we just vote vote blue because we're blue but what about the law they lobby damned just vote our way if those supreme court justices rule in favor of this nonsense election thing the liberal left are going to go that's my team, the head of my team, as a matter of fact, telling us this is legit. My head's going to explode, maybe maybe to an extent, and then come back to my senses, maybe. Or it's just going to explode, and I'm going to go down my liberal crazy rat hole and go scream at people at Twitter and stomp my feet and 
you know, scream I'm leaving the country and, and not leave. But they're going to do this strategically. And there was something Juan O'Sivan says right around that 25 to 26 minute marker, somewhere around there, where he jumps back in. I, I think Nino asked him something. He jumps back in real quick and makes a comment. And listen to his words very carefully. So I'm going to just go, I'm going to go to it because I'm, um, We'll listen to it together real quick for just a minute and um, we go just, just a little bit before that. Let's watch this together. Again, this is, I'm, I'm way fast forward on this one, but I want you to listen to his words very carefully because he's throwing you a hint, in my opinion. So let's listen. Because they needed this in time to have it as a real weapon of defense or proactively to rise there. There was a desire to see it rise to the correct level. Yes. And they could have just given it the bums rush, uh, like the other five to 8,000 cases a year that never get heard by the Supreme Court, seen nothing, and it it's just goes inside. into a black hole. They chose to be a bit proactive and even when they said can you get the brief to us sooner because they needed this in time to have it as a real weapon of defense or proactively to go on the attack because they needed it within a certain time period i don't think that they're looking at this as something that gets drug out over some long period of time, the real crisis is December, as far as they're concerned with this lame duck Congress. And, uh, you know, part of the rest of the issue is, if you don't take this type of an action right now, and if in fact, there, the, the whole point of your suit, if I understand it, Loy, and, and I'm here to be corrected, you, you know, I'm so thankful to get a chance to talk directly with you. The point of the suit was that Congress about 300 members of Congress and then a bunch of senators and other people around the periphery and the president, vice president, they didn't protect the American people from a foreign attack through the vote. And members of Congress, a large number, 100 plus, said, hey, 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 we got to stop, slow down. We need to look at this. We need to take that 10 days uh, and not certify the vote on January 6th, because these are valid concerns of foreign interference. We need to stop and examine what has happened in this election before we proceed with certification. You have the director of national intelligence didn't give his report timely at 45 days on December 18th. After so he's, he's on the same page. Why did the clerk say, can you get this to us a little bit faster? If there's a smoking gun in this case that it's, oh my God, it's going to happen. Oh my God, we're going to have the greatest Christmas we've ever had in America since the founding fathers created this place. As Trump said earlier this year, you're going to have a wonder, we're just going to have a great, great, great Christmas. Nothing can stop what is coming Nothing. How could they keep saying that? How can Mike Lindell keep assuring you nine to zero, even if it's not nine to zero, but it still goes in a, as a win, a win's a win. But he's sure it's going to be nine to zero. The justices can all save face, save the reputation. And maybe they're being told by the military, we've already decided this. It's already done. And again, maybe the Supreme Court, which again, it's they're, they could have secret rulings, and, and Juan O'Savin talks about they can actually have, and either Juan or the guy that brought the suit uh, had said, they can take a case, and due to the particulars about it, make it a national security issue, and it just gets done in secret. He said that's that can happen. So that's interesting that that's even mentioned in this video, because we've heard, again, rumors, that the Supreme Court already ruled on this, it's already done in secret.
So is this the public way of saying, oh, yeah, here, look, you know, I don't know. Wouldn't make sense to have two separate cases, you know, one secret, one not secret, but it's the same thing, you know. Don't know, don't care, to be honest with you. All I know is this case is coming to light. It is public. You're going to see how this goes. The Supreme Court clerk guy is saying, can you get this to us quicker than two weeks? Could you imagine filing a lawsuit in a court against anybody? And the court is so much on your side before you can even get to them. Can you hurry up and get us that amended complaint or fix the, the, the discrepancies? Can you can you hurry up on that? They're, they're telling you, hurry up and get it to us so we can do something. And again, timing's everything. Why did it take so long? Why did it take all this time to get to where it got? Why did the other cases not go anywhere? How did this one case get there? Because they, they, brother, these brothers filed three separate cases. One stuck, one's kind of halfway through. This one made it all the way through. Well, doesn't even make sense. How can they be so sure nothing can stop what is coming? How? Because if you knew, like Entheos and them know, how this is going to go, we've already won, as I've said for the last two years, we've already won. They've already lost. It's done. It's over. It's already settled. You're just watching the show now. To wake up the sleepy heads so that when all this stuff is implemented that we've been talking about, you'll be, be they'll be begging them. What took you so long? The normies will be begging the military and the Supreme Court. What took you guys so long? Oh, my God. That's the stage they needed to get everybody at before they give you the info. Oh, by the way, these 380 plus Congress members, Senate and House are adjourning for the last time. And I'm going to call Dick Algar this morning. Dick, when, what, not if. When this happens, because since you've I ever found that remote viewing session from you all that time ago, I never forgot it. It's the most powerful thing I remember from all of the remote viewing stuff you've done, although his treasure hunting stuff for me was incredible. Some of the stuff he did uh, came up with. But that's not even important. This is important. And I've never wavered that. Oh, you know, I think Dick was smoking uh, some doobies that day. And, uh, you know, he was just, he was just, oh, he was having one of those off days. You know, the target was the death of the dollar. This thing came in about Congress shutting down. Uh, I think he's just had a bad session. No, that thing has haunted me ever since I heard that. And I said, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. I know it. I'm positive. How that looks, I don't know. Does the military step in for some reason again? Maybe. That sounds the most plausible. But you may have the military step in the same day they get served, maybe in the halls of Congress. Do you know what would be epic? Let me this just came in. This just came in right now. If you listen to that interview, they talk about the lame duck Congress and how. It appears Congress is getting a little nervous about the Supreme Court. And if you followed rumblings recently, you'll see that they're trying to strip some power away from the Supreme Court. And, and Juan O'Savin talks about this in this video in the first 25 minutes. So if Congress starts to go, okay, we need to hurry up. <laughs> we got to get this done before the new year. Quickly, quickly, quickly. You know, the Republicans won the House. We got to hurry. Come on, guys. And they go in for a lame duck session of Congress. On or about the time, Cliff High says, somewhere between the 13th and 15th or 12th, somewhere, whatever his, I forget his dates, of the next crazy emotional spike data, which will make last month, this month, look like nothing. And we had a hell of a month with FTX debacle and Ukraine money laundering stuff coming out attached, Democrats funding that, you know, getting funded by it. Oh my God. He says it's going to be like magnitudes higher than that. So imagine Congress, these dirty, rotten critters. Let's pass some laws quickly in December. Deep state laws. Ah, oh, baby, let's go. And they're in session. What's that noise? Who's kicking in the door? The mother effing U.S. military with the sergeant in arms in front of them. Saying. In a Trump fashion. So I don't have to do this 380 plus times. All 380 of you on this list, you're fired. 
What are you talking? What, uh, what's going on? The Supreme Court just ruled. You have not been doing your duty. And this other guy, I think it was Ghost, goes through the USC codes. If they don't follow this, then they're guilty of this, this, and this. And they can be removed from office, held, like in detention, and fined. Now, when the magnitude of what they've done comes to light, and it wasn't just, oh, I didn't do my, people were telling me to do something, I just didn't do it, I didn't have time. Oh, you were actually colluding to protect yourself and that deep state apparatus. Well, that's a whole different USC code. Something to do with treason, perhaps. Oh, well, in that case, we've got Gitmo still up and running, that Trump kept running, they wanted to shut it down. As you remember him mumbling under his breath so we can put her in it. What did he say? So we can put her in it. Oh, her, her who? Lock her up, Hillary Clinton. You are going, in, uh, it would be amazing to see Congress in session about to pass some more draconian bullshit and the doors get effing kicked in. Helicopters, military, again, Look back at September, October remote viewing session of crypto viewing. Dick Algar, Daz Smith, Naeem, Naeem, Hakeem, Naeem, what is it? I can't remember his name. Naeem, um, Ed Reardon, Daz Smith, Dick Algar, right? And they're seeing like helicopters, troops parachuting down, like something's going on. Like what the hell's going on? Not parachuting, but like uh, rappelling down and. This major military operator, what the hell is, what are we looking at? We don't know. We're not sure where this is. Ah, uh, I might know where it is. <laughs> and then all these Congress members will be in the halls of Congress, as Dick predicted in his two year ago, year and a half ago, whatever session, adjourning for the last time, a sense of adjourning for the last time. Loss of power, key word he wrote in there. A transfer of power. And like He-Man once said, I have the power. A transfer of power. What did Trump tell you from day one? A transfer of power from the deep state, corrupt government, back to we the people. You are getting your power back. That's what Trump promised. And Dick wrote that down in a session. It's like I'm seeing a transfer of power. They're adjourning for the last time. Disbelief. Shock. Hunched over. Crying. Sick to their stomach. They can't believe what's happening. I took that as the entire con Congress would be shut down. But he didn't say that. If you look at the remote viewing, it doesn't say that. The scene of these Congress members, they have a sense of adjourning for the last time. They are in shock because they can't believe they lost all their power. Adam Schiff, Maxine Waters, Pelosi, which whatever, she'll be out anyways. They're done. This is how it goes down in the safest, nonviolent way of all. And yes, there will be some leftist Antifa people. Ready to start problems. And maybe that's where possibly, maybe that's where possibly we see military coming down from helicopters and stomping these little cockroaches. Effing cockroach. I'm Tony Montana, you cockroach. The godfather, Trump. He's going to make Antifa an offer they can't refuse. He's going to stomp on their effing heads. And, and, and while I was mentioning Dick Algar, I'm going to request, demand from Dick. Dick, I've mentioned this the most. I believed in it the most. You've got to do an exclusive interview. We're going to bring that shit up and we're going to talk about it. We'll both live stream or whatever. Both channels, one channel, I don't care. And we got to talk about you. You got to come on and talk about this. And you got to let me be first. Because... Because. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. But one more final comment. It's very important. Listen, Entheos, 
forwarded from somebody. He put on his own telegram, Entheos. Told you. Now, he so he didn't say that. He's forwarding something somebody else said. Told you. And what are they telling us? The thing I just talked to you guys about, revolver.news. Breaking report, the Brazilian military stands with Bolsonaro, is prepared to invoke Article 152. Why is Entheos the insider of insiders? Amazing. I swear to God, I hope to God I can meet them one day. I asked them a long time ago, please tell me one day I can meet you guys. Somehow. And I don't remember what he said. Maybe, I don't even know what the hell he said. It was on Twitter. No, those DMs are gone now. Um, but I hope it said something like, yeah, maybe if things sell down enough, you know, we're, we, we feel safe and everything. Like, yeah, because we can't come out. You know, we're a target. It was probably something like that. Uh why is Antheos posting that? Antheos posts, you better effing listen. When Tori Morris posts, you better effing listen. And again, about her midterms comment, there won't really be any. Well, they happened. But if this happens, all of it's null and void. It all goes away. So then what? Then you didn't really have midterms. You had them, but if they don't result in what you saw, didn't exactly happen, did it? And she replied something whatever about uh, and something about we're not at the holidays yet or something with holidays. All capital letters like holidays, holiday, it would be all right. Or was that celebrate? Whatever. Holiday, holiday. Christmas is the holiday of holidays when it comes to any freaking holiday throughout the year. Christmas is the big one followed by, okay, okay then a few days later we have New Year's. There's two holidays back to back. Okay. Uh, Thanksgiving, it's a holiday, but it ain't the holiday. And she mentioned in capital letters, holidays. Hello. To me, that means Christmas. Tie in Trump's comment. You're going to have a great Christmas. Oh, baby. You realize how close we are. Christmas is 20, whatever, 25th of December, two more days, 26, 27 days away. You've waited all this time, last couple of years, for this moment. The Supreme Court clerk is begging them, give it to me faster. Wink, wink. Can you please hurry and give us that amended complaint or fix the discrepancy, whatever deficiencies, Go, please. The Supreme Court's begging you for this? Yeah. Mike Lindell, 9 to 0. If you add up all these little teeny tiny things, including my bald ass telling you, trust the effing plan. When Entheos tells you stuff, he's not concerned. He said January. What does that mean? It means you better watch because something really, really interesting is going to be about January in the midterms. And you have Ezra, Katie Hobbs, not happening. These are people that have track records, not just bozos talking about, I read this article and uh, I got an insider. Who's your in insider? Bitcoin Ben's insider. Oh. No. These are real insiders. Again, Antheos told me Melania Trump's going to address the nation. I said, she's going to give a speech, everybody. He contacts me. No, Joe. She will address the nation. It's not just a speech. Oh, pardon me. Hey, everybody. He corrected me. It's an addressing of the nation. He wanted to be very clear on that. Topic's going to be healing. J6 happened. January 6 happens. Again, we know what that is. Nonsense. But he knew it was going to happen. They, Entheos, Team Entheos, knew because what followed that was Melania Trump coming out days later, giving a speech about the nation needing to heal about this. That's when, I, my, again, my mind was blown. Oh my God. That means Biden was supposed to step in office. J6 was supposed to happen. She's supposed to give the speech. How would he know the speech is, oh my God. I knew then, oh my God. High level military operation, the likes of which you've never seen, as Kim Clement had said, prophesied, 
For the plan will be so brilliant, nobody will have seen this coming, says the Lord. And he mentioned in another one of his things, Christmas, Christmas will be great. You know, didn't know what year he's talking about. But if I'm a gambling man, it could be this Christmas. So this is Christmas. And we may have a happy new year. The deep state has been taken down. I sing loud for all to hear. And remember all my treasure hunting stuff in New Mexico. Me, JC, Dave. We dig. We, we were down in a spot. You know, we're close, close, close. Can't come back. Two years of corona crap. JC stuck in Canada. Can't leave. Can't come back. You know. All right. We'll have to put this on hold for a while. But we knew before that, throughout the year of 2019, when we were doing this, this digging, we're not going to be allowed into this mountain until, like, shit is dealt with on planet Earth. The deep state apparatus. We don't even know where this thought came from. It came in. All three of us. Oh, my God. Yes. We're, we're all right. Yes. We're not going to be allowed in until that's dealt with. Well, why? Because maybe it would be stolen and taken and deep state would come in. You know, and, and again, with that government, <clears throat> how can I make an incredible discovery and make it public without them coming and stealing it and whatever, like the deep state does? If you want to see an interesting thing on, I think, Amazon Prime, Amazon Video, I think, uh, the, uh, what's it called? Uh, treasure, Finders Keepers, Treasure Hunters, they contacted the FBI, I think in West Virginia or somewhere over there, because they couldn't get state approval to, to dig. They knew there was some Civil War gold there, and FBI went in, hired a third party to look at this. They said, yeah, there's something down there for sure, and it's bigger than what these guys think it is. It's more. FBI says, I promise you, you can stay out. You know, you'll be up there with us while we dig. You can monitor. As soon as they start digging, you got to go. You can't come up here. You got to stay down there. All night long, they're going back and forth. They got three armored trucks coming in. And then the next day, what? you know, I thought you said you were stopping last night. We'd continue in the morning. No, we, we went ahead and finished it. But there's no, as you can see, there's nothing there. They dug down a lot further and then had armored vehicles there with themselves going back and forth to the armored vehicle a bunch of times. I can't think of the name of the damn thing. Um, ah, I wish I could remember. Anyways, they stole it. It's gone. They said they never had it. There's nothing there. We didn't find anything. It's another tool. The deep Again, deep state criminal FBI. They will steal from you. It's not the government per se. It's these bad actors who have taken over the government. So if I were to find a major discovery, God willing, it wouldn't be the right time to find it with these assholes in charge. So here we are. I get a dream earlier this year, two dreams. <clears throat> you can go back and treasure hunt. Here's two locations you don't know about in the two separate dreams. You can go when your son is almost three or he is three was, was what I was told. I went back in October. Got completely sidetracked. I did go to one location, and uh, long story short, Julianne warned me about something, and she said, if you come across this, do not do it. I'm telling you now, don't do it. One of these locations in the dream, I took myself right to it in a GPS. I go, I'm going right there, and I take myself to the exact spot, unknowingly, of where she said, if you see this, don't you dare go. I'm warning you. And I said, oh my God, there that is. I didn't even get out of the vehicle. It's right in front of my face. Oh my God, there's the sign. Do not, do not do it. It's serious. Son of a bitch, this was the easy one. So I leave. And end up flying the helicopter around to all kinds of different places to check out shit, which was awesome. And got completely sidetracked, like she said, did not do. <clears throat> and she said, don't be discouraged if you don't find anything this time. And I'm like, oh, I'm, you know, I got the dreams. We're, you know, it's got to be this time. Your son is almost three or he is three. In the dream. My son turns three early January. If this shit happens, 
with politics, what I just told you about. This month coming up, December. <clears throat> and the deep state is taken out. A month before my son turns three. That means January, he is three. Congress has been destroyed. We got a hundred good Congress members who are now in power and can pass everything we ever wanted. Without Joe Biden or with him, doesn't matter. They have the majority in the House and Senate. They'll be the only ones who have power. They can do and undo so much shit, it's incredible. And I can't wait to see how that goes. But they're also saying Biden and Harris have to go in the lawsuit. <clears throat> So who becomes the president? Speaker of the House? Who's the Speaker of the House if there's a hundred House members? They're going to have to vote for somebody. Oh my God, could you imagine if they vote for Donald Trump to be Speaker of the House? And then Donald Trump immediately becomes the president. <laughs> Dr. Evil, eat your heart out. He weighs a metric ton. Jerry Nadler weighs a metric ton. I don't know how this is going to go, but I got a sneaky suspicion you're going to have an effing epic Christmas, my friends. Take care.